Good morning guys. It is super quiet in my house, so I'm doing a tutorial for you. Uh, today we're making candle holders. Um, I'm going to have a little surprise for you at the end, but right now I'm going to help you create a beautiful dotted candle holder using the molds from the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy. And you can use my discount code Rachel's Rocks Canada, all capital letters, at Happy Dotting Company on Etsy, and you can receive my 10% discount um, so get there get your candle holders make them up uh, you can use gypsum powder you can use um, what I use is ultra cal 30 here in Canada and I actually order it from Quebec um, and it comes to me uh, in just over a week um, and it lasts me a while I usually buy a 50 pound bag because I got winter coming and I'm probably gonna run out of beautiful stones to work on so I got I got a 50 pound bag this time um, hopefully it lasts me a little while but I am basically I did a first coat with a paintbrush and then I used a sponge to get rid of all of my brush strokes so I have a nice soft uh, base layer to start with and I'm using a teaspoon a plastic teaspoon I got them from the dollar store any teaspoon um, that has a circular shape to it will work and I just put it up against a ruler so that I have a straight line and I put a mark on either side so that it's even on both sides and I won't use my ruler again for this so I am gonna end up putting six semicircles uh, with my pencil make sure your paint is dry before you start this or your pencil is just not gonna show up properly and it'll get kind of frustrating um, so I, you guys have seen the one that I am working on right now and I will be putting a set of these in the store into my Etsy shop so keep an eye out over the next uh, couple days because I will try to get them in there very soon. Um, you don't have to follow my design this is just what people were asking about when it came to um, the pictures that I posted a couple of weeks ago of my candle holder. So I am doing, it kind of looks like a heart with a line through the middle when, when we're done. Um, they all connect together and then we're going to be playing around with some lines and dots of color as well. Um, this is just a rough draft. This is how I always do it. Sketch it on the way I want it to be and then I'm going to take a, my fine lining brush and my gold paint and I'm going to keep the parts I want and get rid of the parts I don't want, which is kind of called cleanup. I call it cleanup. Um, I don't like saying that because there was this show that my kids used to watch. Uh, oh my gosh, I don't even remember what it was called, but they used to sing a cleanup song. And I got really sick of that cleanup song after three children. So <laughs> I don't even like saying cleanup. Um, but that's basically what it is. So I'm just going to follow the lines we're gonna clean it up afterwards like I said so if some of my gold lines are too thick we can go back once it's dry and cover it up with black paint and it'll look like it was never there the best part about this is that we are dotting so if there's any mistakes um, in the black parts or if there's a little bit of gold there or if we didn't cover our candle holder properly with black paint it's gonna be covered with dots as well so that does hide a lot of imperfections in the end it all looks gorgeous so I am gonna just continue on filling in the gold I'm getting out my dotting tool and I'm gonna put it kind of looks like a bug with with, two, with the antennae there um, but it, it won't look like bugs when we're done <laughs> I'm just gonna make it look like that's just how I explain it I guess you know sometimes I call little parts like a bum like on my quiet little owl it looks like a little bum sitting on top of a triangle um, the nose part the beak I guess I should say um, but yeah these are my own terminology <laughs> you call it what you will um, so yeah it makes it look kind of it has like a cool illusion to it once you put a candle in it um, because you really just focus on the gold and the color in the end you don't really focus on the candle holder itself um, but it gives it a nice effect that's what a lot of people were asking about is that effect around the opening where you put the candle so there you go guys I showed it to you and I just I'm gonna do some random lines in these little 
bottom portions of the heart kind of looks like a heart with with bugs between them <laughs> i i promise you this is going to look pretty when it's done <laughs> so here i go cleaning up keeping the stuff i want to keep getting rid of any pencil that i went in the wrong direction with um just slimming out my gold lines so it looks a little more delicate i like i like it to look delicate when it's done especially because we're, we're using gold, right? So I've actually, um, I've actually painted a painting where it cracked, uh, like the canvas and the paint and everything, it cracked all over the surface and I don't even know why. So instead of throwing it away, I am painting gold in all the cracks and it looks fantastic. I'll have to post a picture when it's done, but that'll probably be next year sometime <laughs> considering I am moving January 1st right after Christmas and uh, for Halloween night we got a nice snowstorm so we still have probably about half a foot of snow out there still even though the rain or the sun came out yesterday and melted some of it uh, yeah we have the white stuff already so I'm already thinking about next year <laughs> I want the sun to come back and the warm to come back because I'm a fan of that kind of weather. Yes, yes, you may ask, why do you live in northern Ontario when you're a fan of warm weather? This is just where I ended up. <laughs> and my husband's lucky I love him <laughs> because or else I would go find somewhere warm to live. Oh, my poor hubby. So I am just adding some dots with the bigger, a bigger uh, dotting, nail dotting tool. I will leave a link in the description to the uh, dotting tools that I purchase on Amazon here in Canada. Um, but you can definitely take a look, uh, just look up nail dotting tools and where to find them. Um, they're sold in Walmart even, um, I believe. Well, here in Canada, I've seen them at Walmart. Um, but I order mine on Amazon, so you might be able to order yours on Amazon as well. So if you click the link in my description and it brings you to a Canadian Amazon site and it costs you like $300 for dotting tools, do not pay for them. Try to look in your area, click search in Google, look for nail dotting tools. Um, or you could use toothpicks, you can use knit knitting needles, anything with a point anything at all you can search around your house that's what I used to do I used to get real creative that's why I still use teaspoons and lids for my circles <laughs> or semicircles so just follow the design or you can change it up as you go along um, I've done a different design on another one that I'll show you afterwards it's quite similar to the one that we're doing today I just changed it up a little bit around the sides um, you can only see the top of course right now but I'll show you the whole thing. So I'm doing bigger dots. I also got those uh, dotting tools on Amazon. Now I do bend my very fine tip. It just makes it easier for me to dot for some reason. I don't have to hold my wrist a certain way. I don't have to hold my hand up. Um, I just bend the very tip using little jewelry pliers and yeah, it just kind of makes my dotting experience a little bit easier. So that might be a trick for you. Just don't break the end off of it because then then you need a new dotting tool. So I did use an ocean view color for the first one. Just use a lighter color. You don't have to use the same colors as me. Just try and go from light, medium, dark color because that's what I'm using today. And I'm also gonna be using a hint of a light purple or a plum, plumish color, plummy. <laughs> it's kind of plum. This is Cayman Blue that I'm putting in here in these little lined areas. And I'm just putting like one or two dots, whatever fits in the little space, that's what I'm gonna fill in there. I'm trying not to go over top of the gold because I wanna make sure I can see all of those lines. Now I'm using a darker indigo night blue. It's uh, All of these are folk art so far. Um, and I'm starting with bigger dots and uh, like kind of filling in the spot with bigger dots and then going around it with small dots just to kind of fill in the rest of the black space that's there. Once I get up 
we're gonna actually do a little bit of like a ombre or ombre technique um, as well mixing all three colors together shortly but for now we're just gonna use the indigo blue and bring it up to the bottom of that that lighter blue and just make sure you don't have to worry about all your dots being the same size just try not to touch them together too much because then they form like a blob or a line um, so just try to keep them separated and if your if your paint is too thick uh, or sorry too thin too watery they will flow together very easily so be very careful of how much space you have between your dots so I am using an eggplant purple right here and I'm just using a toothpick to fill in because it's a smaller space um, just a little bit you can't really see it very well on here actually um, but I promise you I, I am adding an eggplant purple just inside where that bigger dot is just filling in that with color now I'm using a lighter purple and I'm gonna go down to these uh, diamond shapes and those are all going to be this lighter plum purple color and I believe it's from deco art but I will list all the paint colors in the description so um, also you can get my 10% discount code don't forget that um, all of this information and a link to uh, happy dotting Company's Etsy shop so that you can order your own candle holder molds and make your own candles um, just make sure you click the description so there's a little small down arrow on the right side underneath this video and if you click that all of my information will be in there and then hopefully um, all your questions are immediately answered once you see everything in there um, if not feel free to message me or comment on this video and I will try and help you as quickly as I can and as best as I can that's a promise um, so you can see it has a cool effect um, where the candle is actually going to be sitting inside of here um, it's it's it looks like it's cut open that way like there's little little pieces cut out of the area where you put your candle in but it's just black paint so it looks kind of cool it gives the opening of the candle holder a different effect so I am adding the darkest indigo blue I put a dot in all of the uh, dots that look like the little bugs between the hearts at the top <laughs> there's blue dots there and bigger blue dots on top of the gold uh, bigger dots around the side and we're gonna let those dry a little bit before we put some hologram on them um, because yeah I needed a little bit of glitter on this one as well I do like adding crystals flat back crystals to my candle holders this one I'm not going to because I'll show you why um, but I do have one to show you at the end of the video. I also don't resin them. Um, I put a matte, um, a matte coat, a matte seal, I guess you can call it. It's deco art matte. It's a matte coat instead of the glossy coat that I always use. Um, and I just want to keep it matte. You can, you don't even have to seal it if you're not putting it outside or, um, if you, aren't going to light the candle that's in it and you, you know it's not going to get ruined in any way that's completely up to you um, but you can seal it with matte paint or resin completely up to you uh, but I like to leave mine just like this for some reason it has a nice look to it so today I'm not going to be resining them um, but uh, I still have a surprise for you at the end of the video instead of resin so you'll see <laughs> So here's where we're gonna do like the joining together of all the colors in one, in one area. And it's kind of like an, an ombre effect. Uh, for those of you who like to correct my wording, I'm saying ombre this time. Next time I might say ombre. <laughs> Just so you're prepared. Um, so once again, this looks kind of like a little heart again. Um, that's the best way for me to describe it. And that's where we're filling in the shades of blue so I'm just making sure I have all of my my hearts done before I start dotting them all in like I started on this one so be careful make sure your big blue dots are dry or else you're gonna like swipe them across all of your beautiful work so be careful so as you can see I'm doing bigger blue dots at first 
Then I switch ends with my dotting tool and I fill in all that space with little blue dots. I steal paint from the big dots to do my little dots as well. So I don't know if anybody else does that, but if you do, please let me know so that I'm normal and so that we all know we're normal. <laughs> I like to steal from the bigger, the bigger blobs. They don't need so much paint. And it saves me from having to go back to my paint tray every couple of seconds as well. This might be a trick that helps you. Steal from the bigger ones. They don't need it all. It's like a Robin Hood thing. <laughs> so I am just kind of bringing those dots up over top of the Cayman Blue, um, just so they kind of flow together a little bit better. I'm just kind of bringing them together. There. And I'm gonna go around and do them all, all the way around and it's gonna look super cool when it's done. Like I said, change up the colors and it will change up your candle holder completely. Um, keep the same design, just use different colors and you won't even, sometimes people can't even tell it's the same design because of the colors that you used and the way you use them. So it's all about colors. Um, and these are some of my favorite colors. I'm sure you guys know that already. So I like blues, I like purple, definitely purple. And I like gold. So this is perfect for, for moi. <laughs> I like it. So the blue is dry. I am now adding hologram 2796. If you don't have this in your paint palette, you need it because it's amazing and you can do lots of fun things with it while you're watching my videos anyway, because I usually use hologram or some kind of glitter and some kind of gold. Here you go. It's done. It's done. And I put a little succulent in it instead of a candle, but I do have another one right beside it with a candle and crystals. So these are just some things that you can do with these awesome candle holders. You can have it as a little succulent holder and or a little candle holder with crystals attached as well. These shine beautifully, like while you're having a bath, those crystals, the flame, the color, the gold, it just looks so beautiful and romantic and royal, I tell you. So I hope you guys really like this. Have fun with your candle holders. And uh, you know I love you guys and appreciate you. Keep painting with me. Love you.